Ja. Okay. Uh, net for Tarina, um, we didn't give up, 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 did the Bible not say what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven? Yes, we do everything according to God's will. But I want you this morning to bind that cancer. To run after it, grip it, and hold it. You shall live and die from every word that utters the mouth of the Lord your God. You are the hands and feet of Jesus on this earth. He's no longer here. So when you feel the anointing of the Lord coming over you, you speak and you pray as if you make a difference. And you pray and say, Lord Jesus, in your name, just raise your hands. Father, we grip that cancer. I hold you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will demonize and you will go away. In the name of Jesus. Yes, the Lord will, through sickness and pain, speak to people. But Lord Jesus, save her life. She's only 39 years of age. And let your fullness in this time of, of, of recovery, in this time of fear, be there. Secure her heart, secure her soul, and bring peace in the midst of the storm. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Amen. this morning. Oh no, never
Weet wat hy doen verander, kan hy wat doen vir jou vermoor. Die oom het keelkanker gehad. En jy weet, hy word wakker in ochend, toe leed die keelkanker op die kist. Oornag, verander die Heere sy verstand. Die keelkanker val uit, hy het in die botel die gehad op sy getuin. Ons moet nie moet verloor wat God kan Prijs die Heere Waar heeft die stare te follow Jesus No turning back, no turning back Ek moet vrij vir Koning Jesus
Salina Jesus se bloed wat jou rein kan was die daar is die koorkie wat sê sy bloed verlos uit Satans mag sy bloed mag slaven vry die grootste sondag die was sy rein sy bloed verlos oor my is net sy Jesus se bloed wat verboor in die verskil tussen ons en die man daar op die straat kan doen die volgende koorkie sê ek is verlos dier die bloed van die lang verlos daar om sin en verboor so blij ek is verlos dier die bloed van die lang
wat hij voor koning Jezus kan leren vandaag. Ek het iets wat ek voor koning Jezus te voete kan. Is daar voor iets wat jou vasthoud om volle oorgaan aan God te gee? Elke keer vir ons het iets wat ons kan sê, wat ons bykie terughoud om daar volle oorgaan aan koning Jezus te gee. Shackled by a heavy burden. Ek het vir woorde koning Jezus nodig. Om my kracht te gee om my te versterk vir die tyd wat vir my voer. Ons gaan het so een of twee keer nog sin shackled by a heavy burden. Ek steek in jou handen op. Raise your hands and give it all to Jesus. And He will make the difference. Shackled by a heavy burden. I will shackle my head. Heavy burden. city and he preached Christ unto them and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spoke hearing and seeing the miracles which he did the Bible says that the Heere God the Father werk saam met Jesus Christus and there's two years that saam that and he bevestigs his Seen, his Evangelie met wonders and tekens and those miracles does not necessarily end. They keep on going. Where God's Spirit is, expect a miracle every day. Want die Heere getuig saam met jou tot vandag toe in jou lewe. God will testify in your life with you with miracles, signs and wonders. And so he did with Philippe. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Verse 7. Just read that. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voices, came out of many people who were possessed with death. Oh, oh, and you think they're not here today? Let me be very blunt and straightforward. If you watch pornography, if you drink too much, unclean spirits will possess you and you will struggle like hell to come loose. In fact, it's only through the name of Jesus Christ that he will make you break free. Amen. The Bible says you cannot serve God and serve Satan and this world at the same time. You need to be cleansed out by the blood of Jesus Christ and refilled with his Holy Spirit. For the unclean spirits crying with loud voices came out of many people who were possessed with them. Something that angers you. Something that holds you. Gossip. Unforgiveness can hold you just as strong. You 
If you don't forgive someone, the Bible says God can't forgive you. And if God can't forgive you, then you are bound and you are not free. And many taken with penalties and who were lame, lame people were healed. And there was great joy in that city. When God removes the unclean spirits from people, they are replaced with joy. And the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Die blijdskap van die Heere sal jou beskitting wees dier hier die lewe. As jy na die vader vraag en sê, Heere, maak my lewe skoon. Vee my hart uit. Jezus sê het mooi, sê, ek sal in jou hart en beweeg en ek gaan jou hele huis skoon vee en ons sal daar voor. En niemand anders sal daar huis kan beset nie, wat God al heer. Maar blijdskap sal in jou midde wees. When the Lord comes into our hearts, He leaves the fresh fragrance of joy afterwards. The Bible says, fear is not from God. For I have not given you fear. I've given you revelation, power, joy. Amen. In Jesus' name. Now verse 26. And the angel of the Lord spoke then unto Philip, saying, Arise, get up, and go toward the south unto the way that goes down from Jerusalem unto Gaza which is a lonely road, which is a road that goes through the desert. It's the old road that comes up from Egypt to Israel. The road which the Israelites might have dwelled upon when they left slavery and sin in Egypt and they came up. The Lord sent Philip down this road, this lonely road. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia who was an eunuch. Who knows what that word is? Alright. I think everyone's old enough. A eunuch is a person that has been castrated. A man that's been castrated. In other words, his testes have been removed, so he's unable to father children. And the reason why they did it back in the day is because this specific man was of very high stature. He was in the sleeping quarters, a guard of the Queen Candace of Ethiopia. And they were there to protect the Queen. But in other words, in order not to put her in danger, they were castrated back in the day. And behold, the man of Ethiopia and eunuch of great authority. Under Candace, queen of Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure. He wasn't, he wasn't so many young as they mark me. He was a buyer, by a worker, in the month. Who had charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem to worship. Very interesting how an African treasurer can come up to Jerusalem to worship the Lord God. But he was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading the book of Isaiah, the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join yourself to this chariot. And Philip ran thy to him and heard him reading the prophet Isaiah. And he said to him, Do you understand what you are reading? How many of you sometimes... Do not understand the word of God when you read it. There's a simple reason for it. This is blank paper with letters on it. And it's dead. Unless the Spirit of God reveals it to you, breaks it open. He's, the Lord has got to take the bread and break it and, and break it open and reveal it to you. That's how it works. Do you understand what you read? And he said, how can I understand? Except, except someone should guide me, someone that helps me. And he desired, he asked Philip, that he would come up and sit on the chariot with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led 
as a sheep to be slaughtered. And like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. In his humiliation his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray you, of whom speaks the prophet here? Of himself? Or does he speak of someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto Jesus unto him. I just want to hold there for a second. This man came up with a desire in his heart to come and serve God. He might have heard from Jesus. By this time, Jesus has already passed away. He might have heard from the miracles that, that Christ did on earth. The Bible says that you that sit in this congregation, every man and child, every person that comes and gives their lives to God, no one can go to me as the pastor or to other brethren. The Father drags you and He pulls you, the Heavenly Father, with cords of love. That's what the Bible says. The Father will draw everyone in His own way. You are not here by coincidence, nor by chance. But it's because God pulls you. He knows your heart. He searches your soul. <clears throat> he knows what you need. He knows how to fill the gaps. He knows how to strengthen you. He understands you better than you know yourself. Better than mom and dad will ever understand you. The Lord God knows you by name. Amen. And He died for you on the cross. And he, your name is inscribed in His heart. Make no mistake about that. This man, this Ethiopian, this black man, this treasurer, had an appointment with God. And he traveled from a far country and he came to Jerusalem and he was denied access. Because in the law, sometimes the law can block your way. In the law, it stated in Israel that in Deuteronomy 23 verse 1, that no eunuch may come into the presence of the Lord. Well, sorry, the gospel is not for you. Because the law kept you out. Who in this congregation sometimes feel that you've been hindered and prevented to your rights? In your younger days, maybe, Opportunities awaited, but you were you couldn't you couldn't take it because you just weren't allowed, and life just didn't shape that way, or it just didn't happen that way. How do you think he felt? He came all this way, only to find out that something kept him out, which he had no control of. If he was chosen to be the treasurer. For Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, and they did to him what they had to do, he didn't have control on him. And that doesn't necessarily mean that God didn't love him or care for him. So he was sent back down the lonely road. Depression, despair. Thought nobody cared. No company. This is a lonely road. No is it word small as the weg. In ministry. Wat hier die pad vind. Maar strui hard. Sê die Heer. Om in te gaan. Dier die nou poor. En die slaaf weg. Want het is net Jesus en jy. Wat hier die pad kan bly. They won't always be social. Uh, people around you, they won't always be company around you. You need to surround yourself with God and Him alone, because you and God is the only two people that's going to stand in front of the white throne one day, in the judgment day. Net Jesus and Jai, kan op hierdie weg I want to thank God, that when people forgot about this man, then Jesus Christ did not forget about him. 
And when he saw the desire and the disappointment in this man's heart all the way down the lonely road back to Ethiopia, Jesus Christ talked to his angel and he said to his angel, you go and tell Philip he's got a job to do. You've got a job to do. Other than getting out of bed this morning and attending church, you've actually got a job to do. And also it's vague on to do. Ek sê vir oogend vir my seens, jy het werk om te doen. Moe nie altyd, ek het dit net so vir hulle gesê, moe nie altyd verwacht dat ander jou werk gaan doen nie, want as die jylle vir jou die jobkaart uitgeskryf het, is dit jou werk, moe nie rond in jou kyk nie, mense gaan nie altyd daar wees nie, maar wat die jylle in jou hart geplaas het, moet jou passie wees, moet jou hart top wees, want net Jesus en jy kan op hier die weg bly. If you look around for people always to strengthen you, you're gonna fail and it becomes lonely, and the path becomes difficult to walk on. When God spoke to Philip, he was still casting out demons and unclean spirits in Samaria, and the Lord said, now get up and walk 100 miles in faith. Hey, hey, for someone else, for an African, me, walk 100 miles. But he did, for one soul. He walked 100 miles. After he heard someone speak in his heart, Nara rock met a gedachte, a fluister in sy hart was, Philippus, ek wil hee, jy moet een man gaan volg, daar onder in die pad, na by Gaza, na by Egypte, gaan jy hom antref, stap soon to, it took him days to get there. But he did it. Die Heere, gaan vir jou nie alleen los nie, Hy gaan achter jou aan, hy ondersteun vir jou, hy onderskraag vir jou. God will not leave you alone. People might leave you alone, but there is no chance God will leave you alone. If you choose Him, He will abide. The Comforter will abide with you everywhere. Even I go through the valley of shadow of death, I shall not fear. Hy wat vannacht in die skade weer van jou maak. Die Heer is altyd vir jou daar. Maar jy moet om kies. You must choose God. You must ask Him. If you and you and God talk, from that day onwards, you're never alone. No, no, never alone. Philippe walked 100 miles, approximately. He got there. And as he came close, he heard this man speak. And he was trying to read out how. He did all the self to pray. I pass it out in you. You come to yourself, pray. You need yourself unto it. <laughs> Have you ever talked to yourself and answered yourself in frustration? He was reading louder and louder. I can't understand what the Bible says here. Uh, what does it mean? <coughs> he was led as a sheep to be slaughtered. Who does he speak of? He didn't understand. The Bible was speaking of Jesus. Jesus was led as a, a sheep to be slaughtered. And like a lamb, done before his shearer, he went to Jerusalem, but he was denied access. Soos ou lammekie, stom voor die een wat ons skeer. Does the Bible not say that Jesus Christ stayed quiet when they accused him? Like the lamb. The lamb that was going to be slain, he stayed quiet. Maybe this man stayed quiet when they told him what was going to happen to him because he was a treasure. He was ook geslag. Christ will always relate to you. Want hy is die hoog priester wat met jou mede leie kan heen in al die omstandig hier. He is the high priest that died for our sins that can relate to your struggles in life. And he related to this man. And you know what for me is wonderful, why I always preach about this? Is out of the Bible, out of the books of the Bible, what is the chance that this eunuch opened on that scripture? Where it speaks of a man who would not have any descendants. Christ never had any descendants. Because he was denied, he was hindered to be a father. 
It wasn't his destiny. And this eunuch maybe had sorrow in his heart because he would never father children and have a family. And he had carried a lot of things in his life and you carry a lot of things in your life that you think no one sees but God sees them all the time. And he has to give me a message in the night to tell to you that God knows your heart and you can relate to him. You just need to trust him this morning. Allow him to lift you up. And Philippe said, can I help you? Thank God there is people in life to help us. When I needed men and women to guide me, they were there. In my drunken days, in my younger days, my rum and red bull days, breakdowns all the way to Messina, playing my little Constantina in church while no one knew I was off the road. So lacquer, back slides was more real dag. So lacquer low, so calm the dag of all. Lacquer draad sitten. Maar weet je wat, die woord van die Heere sê, was jy maar koud. Of was jy maar warm, maar nou dat jy nou is, moet jy oppassen dat jou nie uit my mond uitspieg nie. Jy kan nie die Heere net so dien of so vlak, vlak, vlak nie. You must serve the Lord your God in earnest and in honor. And in my drunken days and my young days, there were people that helped me. People that sought that was wrong. And I thank God for those men of God and women of God and my parents and my family that guided me along the way. Because I was young too, confused too. I didn't want to complete my trade test, my first to fail one, because they gave me a gearbox to overall, and it, I assume that we don't do gearboxes, we are fancy, we send them out to be repaired by gearmates. And I failed my, my trade test, and I said to my dad, I'm not going back, and he said, yes, you will go back. Khani, see how you gaan. And that morning I sat in my little Toyota Conquest, and what he found is Fontaine. Took my wife. You know, at that age, you've only got a few things on your mind, and the lady is one of them. <laughs> and it no normally overshadows everything else. So I don't even have my trade yet, but oh, yes, I had wedding plans, no doubt. I might go on the next one long rocky, it's not. In, I sat in my car with all that uncertainty in my heart, and my arm was resting on the, on the side of my door, my window was open. And I just was felt like, can the Lord speak to me? I feel so uncertain about my future. The next moment, there was a willy wagged out on the lawn by Mark and I stacked. And he froze his tail back and forth. And the willy wagged out flew up and he sat right on my mirror. With my arm there. And he just looked at me. You don't need to fear about tomorrow. Because the Lord, your God, is I found peace in that little bird, and he didn't even speak to me. I said, now you can follow. Draai niet gewoon naar jou langs je toe. Zie je, die Heer is nou waar jou van hou. He's here to help you. He's here to guide you. He's here to take you by the hand. And this man has got the greatest testimony of them all. He was butchered. He was hindered. He was denied access. All the blockages and the laws stopped him, but thank Jesus Christ, he crushes and goes <coughs> straight through the law. And he took the leap and made him wait, walk 100 miles to a man that needed him. And he told him, I can relate to you. Won't you walk this way with me? And the next moment they saw, Mom, they saw water. He must have talked to him about the baptism. I'm going to read it to you. It's precious. And as they went on their way, they came unto water. And the eunuch said, See, there's water. Is there something that's going to hinder me this time as well? He was so used to things hindering him stopping me, people blocking him because of what happened to him. Is there anything else? You know, you come, sometimes you come to accept that people just won't allow you or appreciate you for what you are. You say, used to being destroyed. This morning the Lord is here to lift you up, to lift you out, to oh, restore me. you and to recover you. Is there anything that hinders me now to be baptized? 
And here the word St. Philippe said, if you believe with all your heart this morning, if you believe with all your heart, and this man answered, I do, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Then he says, nothing will hinder you. And he commanded the chariot to stop. And they both went down into the water. Both Philippe and the eunuch. And he got baptized. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philippe. He took him by his hair, picked him up. He didn't have to walk all the way back. The Lord just took him. Took him and placed him where he wanted to. But the eunuch was left there. And the Bible says the rest of his way he was rejoicing. Because Jesus, my must be of course, I said, Jesus took his sin away. He took his sorrow away. He could relate to the Savior first of all. We come short and we fall short of many things in our life. We categorize ourselves. We talk to ourselves. Give you yourself up. And ask next to your Satan on your afterbreak. On that fear to say, I'll be about this. Did that accuser of the brethren, Satan himself, will always tell you, you are no good. I beg to differ, Jesus Christ said, you've got a chance. He will remind you of your sin. Jesus says, I will never think of it again. He says, you can't. Jesus says, yes, you can. He says, you won't. And Jesus this morning tells you, you will. Through the power that he gives us this morning. I want you to stand, please. And like this man, you are traveling on a lone road. Sometimes through deserts. Sometimes you feel just like no one understands. Jesus does. And he's here this morning to encourage you, strengthen you, to lift you up. I want everyone to close their eyes, please. Everyone, don't open your eyes. Lord, while your people are standing here, and no one is looking, just as a token that they reach out to you, I'm going to ask you as an individual, if God spoke to you this morning, I'm not going to ask you to come to the front. Everyone keep your eyes closed. And I'm going to ask you just to lift your right hand forward as you were to greet someone. And just say, Lord, as I am holding my hand forward. I am manifesting putting my hand in your hand. Lord Jesus, please take my hand. Put my hand fast here. Take my hand, Lord. Lead me through this. Help me. Verstaan me. Heer, ek het vanmorgen gevoel, hier krap, 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 iets in my hart, iets in my middels. Jy praat met my, as een baan met sy seem praat, al ons het moest gesluit, en ek weet nie, jy lig jou hand op nie, maar ek vraag jou net vir my hoor, net jy Jesus en jy, lig net jou hand spiekje voor jou. Praat net met die hand, just whisper to God, just talk to the shepherd, just talk to Jesus, while you get your hand forward, and say, Lord, please take my hand, help me, help me, Father's not going to help his son if you don't ask for help. First, you have to ask for help. And you have to say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you now. I give my heart to you now. This man was happy and rejoiced all the way. How come I'm not always happy? Please place that joy in my heart too. Remove all the dark clouds, all the sorrows. Anything that hinders me. There's been so many things that hinder me in my life. I just got sick of it. 
Jesus is coming your way this morning. And all, if you and him can make a connection this morning, there's no doubt you will go the rest of your life rejoicing through Christ your Lord. Lift us up above the shadows this morning. I thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit that now intervenes in men and women's hearts, in children's hearts, in youth's hearts. They heard the message. They hear your voice knocking on their heart's doors. Help them to make that commitment, make that decision. And when they do, when they say, Lord, I do make that decision, like this man said, I do believe in Jesus Christ. I, I realize that he related to me. I want to walk this path with him. That you will give him the strength, the guidance, and the power to walk this journey with you. I thank you now. In Jesus' love. Amen. 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 Amen, praise the Lord. Oh, and go by your head, we burn